On this Blue Zoo TV webisode, our destination is the Newport Aquarium located on the Ohio River in Kentucky. We've got an all access pass behind the scenes. Did I mention, we'll be feeding sharks. Located on the Kentucky side of the Ohio River across from Cincinnati is the Newport Aquarium, one of the coolest aquariums in the Midwest. Inside this large and modern facility are dozens of extraordinary exhibits ranging from sharks to penguins. Today, we're lucky. We're getting a rare behind the scenes tour. We're here at the Newport Aquarium with our new friend, Jeff Gabula, who is the operations manager. Jeff, what are we doing here today? Uh, we're gonna do the, a little bit of shark feeding. A little bit behind the scenes shark feeding at this 385,000 gallon tank. Yep. Well, we'll see if we have any luck. I'm gonna feed a mullet. About a two pound fish. And I'm not talking about my haircut either. No, about a two pound fish. Two pound fish. To whoever comes up closest. A two this and a half one pound of the, mullet. Yeah, this is one of their favorite fish too because it comes from the area they're from in the Florida Keys area, so. What kind of shark is this? This this is a shark ray. Shark or ray. A bowmouth guitar fish. Um, Scooter, he's, he's one of two of the first ones that were on exhibit in the, in the Northern Hemisphere. Um, so you can feed her if you want. Just drop it in front of her face. You gotta keep it in the water though. Just gotta get it down when they come up. If she comes back and grabs it. Let it go? Nope. It'll come right up to the side. We gotta sort of get it to the bottom. Once they get it in, the, in their mouth and the bottom, they'll grab it from you. Oh, they're gonna grab it from the, that's right. I saw those swimming over the, well, oh, ooh, you're not allowed. <laughs> Watch out for the jacks. See that guy cheating? <laughs> well, the water is now saturated with the with the mullet scent. They, you know, the sharks have to, they key in on where things are going. That's what a chum, chum slick is. So now all the animals are, they, they, it's, it's everywhere in the water to them. So now that so they, they think they think the food is every plate, oh, yeah, all over. Right. They smell it. Right. So they, now they got to go on their eyes. And when we first started, it was just by smell. They could come right up to it and smack it. They knew exactly. Now where they got to look for it. Yeah, and they're a little fuller now, so they're not as aggressive to it. There you go. You get some interest. Just tell them to let it go. When they get a good bite on it. Let's get it. Sandbar's coming. <laughs> Maybe my feeding technique isn't 100%. <laughs> Try to guide it with them. There you go. There you go. Oh. Make it back around. Come back. Oh. oh. <laughs> I can't even feed a shark right. <laughs> Trying to. See how easy it is? <laughs> all that work to get him here, and then you take all the glory. <laughs> it's unbelievable. We're changing over a little bit. We went from the big sharks to a little bit smaller one. This is a training session for our small shark, Ray Sunshine. Did you get tall all of a sudden? Yeah, I like, I like growing. Oh, I see, you're standing on a Stand platform. You gotta be taller nice. than you sometimes, it's always fun. So we went from the sharks. Correct. And now we're going to a sign that says, potentially dangerous fish. <laughs> yeah, because they can hurt you. We have to make sure our divers know what their risks are when they dive in here, because they're all mostly volunteers. So what's the difference in the feeding pattern here? Because he's gonna well, actually stand on the human walking tube, right? And right. actually the, the public goes on. Right, and what, what ends up happening here is this is a training session, and you can see that there's some risk involved. Ah, yes, we'll stand right here, thank you. Okay. Um, what's the difference is between what we just did before, before was a tong feed, was, uh, and a tong feed is um, <laughs> it's from the surface. This is a training session, this is a target feed, and a target feed is each animal is, is, has their own station, their own target. Just like you target a dog, come to this, come here, sit, stay, target, we're going here, or point to point target training. We actually do it with fish. Um, right now, George is in the water, our, one of our volunteers. Is the target based on color, size, all of the above? All of the above, color, shape, and size. Sunshine has a sun. So right now he's holding up the, the target, he puts some fish in. Right, and it's all black on one side. And, and as soon as he turns it around, the, the targeted fish is supposed to come get it. Right. Looks like he's got about nine fish coming at it though. Right, he does, because we've got a couple animals that are actually learning this train. It's hard to feed the squid. 
And is this a daily routine again, or is it? This is a, this is a daily routine for this animal until she gets to like, what she has to do is they grow very fast, very fast. And she was 23 pounds when we put her in, and probably in another year she'll be in a 90 range. Wow. So will you end up moving her to the other tank? She'll end up being in the other tank. So in order for her to survive in the big tank, she has to feed this way because it's the only way. So there's the feed, hit the target, he plunged the food in, she got her piece of food, that's it. Use the best new frozen foods for feeding your prized marine specimens. H2O Life brings you premium quality, fresh and natural ingredients, clams and mussels on the half shell, fish and reef formulas one and two, and convenient IQF silver sides and krill. Ask for H2O Life Aquarium Foods at your local retail store and check us out at h2olifefoods.com. Jeff, what are we looking at here? It looks like this kind of leads into the big shark tank. Correct, this is, this is what we call shark acclimation. This is where we'll put animals, if they're getting ready to go onto exhibit, because the animals, when a new animal goes in, they sort of key up on, on a, a new animal, like, hey, I want to come and see you. We also use this area for medical reasons, or we use this area for feeding, separating the feeds out. So it's sort of nice. But this is also what we use this for, is our, this is our dive area. Our volunteer divers, most of them are volunteers, um, We'll come in, we, we've trained them how to do it, and we're gonna do, what we're gonna do today is actually go and feed the big shark rays underwater. Um, they're pretty rare animals, there's only six in the country right now, and we have, uh, no, there's nine in the country right now, and we have uh, three of them here. So three of the nine in the country are here, and their job specifically, the four of them, is to feed. Right, so what we have is we have a, a feeder and a safety diver per animal. We have two animals in the tank, so there's two divers. The safety diver, all there are is to make sure the area is clear. You're when you're a feeder, you're concentrating on what's going on. What's the white pole for? The white pole is just a, uh, a deterrent. Oh, okay. Okay, so there's nothing in it. It's not a bang stick. There's no pushing around with it. It's just to give a guideline. It's a sight line. If the animal comes close, they put it the pull up. They see it. They turn away. So they're going to be heading into the big tank. I think we should go uh, see them work. Okay, we'll go see them work. The Newport Aquarium is a large theater-style viewing area where visitors can watch up close and personal as the divers feed these magnificent sharks.